Today, we're going to try to make a product commercial inside of Canva. So for those of you who aren't aware, Canva has a bunch of new video features allowing you to completely edit a full video right inside of Canva. I'm super excited to test it out and see how it performs and if it's going to be usable for an actual commercial. So the product that we chose for this commercial was Liquid Death and we just really love the marketing and the logo. It just looks like a great bottle. So to kick off the shoot, we're going to get the same shot of both different colored cans of it just spinning on the Lazy Susan in front of our blue screen. All right, let's speed up this Lazy Susan. I don't know how this thing is still working. That's the thing, it's not really still working. It's, you see it? It keeps like spinning right and then it'll just stop and start spinning left. So we'll probably film this going around two or three times before we stop it. That way, if we wanna speed up the clip or slow it down, we just have a little more leeway. So let's grab the black one and get the same shot. All right, so for this next shot, we're gonna be using a spray bottle to spray down our can. And to spice up the shot just a little bit more since this is a very common shot, we're going to be using our Smoke Genie. I love this thing so much. They look so epic and they're so much fun to use. So I'm just gonna do a little smoke just in the background like that. And we also have a light shining backwards, shining to backlit our can to kind of separate it from our background. Plus it lights up our smoke and fog so much better than if we didn't have a light shooting in from the background. Anytime you're shooting with fog or smoke or steam, always try to backlight it and have a light beaming through behind it because it will make it look 10 times better. All right, so that's looking pretty good. I just really wanna capture a drop little water falling down right as you're reading the mountain water, drinking water from the Alps. Okay, so for this final spin shot, I'm just trying to get a nice macro shot of this golden lid. So we're gonna put the fog inside of the can and then we're gonna try to blow it out. I think that was it. Gotta get nature reaction on the shot. Oh. What do you think? Not too bad? That's pretty fire. Oh, that's clean. I've never seen that done before either. This shot is going to be somewhat difficult. We're going to need to pour, spin the camera around, and get some fog in the air, all within a matter of a second or two. Three, two, one, go. Oh, go. We're officially on the last shot. Now we just have a slider. We took off the tension on the slider so I could go really fast and slow down really quickly like that. It's just a really simple outro shot, but it looks really epic with this V-flat board. Okay, so that is a wrap on set. Now it's time to head on over to the computer and plug all of our clips into Canva and see what we can come up with. So first things first, I just wanna cut down these clips a little bit. I probably want each take to be in between a second and two seconds. I want this commercial to be pretty fast paced. So definitely don't want any of these 3.8, four second long takes. Right in here, you can see the end of the fog. You can see where the kind of the table starts again. So I'm just going to drag this and make it a little bit bigger. That way when it zooms out, it doesn't doesn't show nearly as much as the table right there in that black. It's mostly just the fog. Canva now has a video background remover, which is kind of crazy. So if we go up here and click edit video, background remover, and what the heck? <laughs> Did it really just do that that fast? All right, that's actually kind of crazy. <laughs> Granted, it is the blue screen, so it was probably a lot easier to pick up on, but still, that that's kind of crazy. Let's do that for our other liquid death can right here, and voila, just like that, its background is removed. That's really cool. That's awesome. So I think I'm just gonna scale these in a lot, quite a bit, and just show like the tops of the can. Yeah, I have them like side by side, both spinning. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. Let's see how that looks when they play together found this black liquid that I'm just gonna use for the background. It looks pretty cool. So let's go ahead and play that and see how it looks. All right. Cool, so I actually really like that. The shots definitely needs a little something else. So I'm gonna go up here and add some animation to these clips. I kind of like this baseline effect. That actually looked really good, just like that. So now let's do the same thing for our black liquid death can. So we'll come into animate and do baseline on enter and just slow the speed down. I kind of want to change the direction too. I'm, yeah, that looks much better when it's coming up because it doesn't cut off the can in the corner like it does in the up direction. So let's go ahead and do the right direction. So let's see how this is looking now. I like these first couple shots, but they definitely need just a little something more to them. So let's see if we can find an animation for these as well. I really wanna find something that just slowly zooms in. All right, so I think breathe 
looks the best. Perfect, that's exactly what I'm looking for. So let me go ahead and add that to this take as well. It's crazy just by adding a little bit of movement, it makes the shot feel so much more alive. So now that we've got a pretty good rough draft done, I wanna try to find a song to go with this commercial and start matching up the cuts with the pace of the music. So Liquid Death definitely has a more ruggedy kind of bad feel to it. So let's maybe try to find something rock related. Not <laughs> Not, not, not a rock. <laughs> we'll go to the audio tab. Let me try this one. That one's not half bad. Let's go ahead and move forward with this one. I like this one. I really want the cuts to be dun 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 dun, dun and really hit. Oh, you know what? We need like a whoosh sound effect right there. Like, so let's see if we can find a whoosh transition, whoosh sound right here. Let's see what we can find. All right, so drag our whoosh sound effect in here. So I also changed the volume over here to 50% and I added a fade in effect. I wanted it to be a little bit more quiet and subtle. So that made it sound just a little bit better. So I kind of want to add a transition in between these two takes right here. It, I don't know, the raw cut just doesn't feel right to me. So let's go ahead and just click on that little plus sign and we'll do add transition. We don't have a ton of options to choose from, but I honestly think something just as simple as like a line wipe like that, that would actually look pretty good. Let's see how that looks. You know, for most commercials, I don't think that would work, but for this, I feel like it works. I also added a liquid pouring shot right here and a riser that happens right before the final shot. To wrap this commercial up, I'm just gonna do a little bit of color correction that we can actually do right inside of Canva now. If we click on our video take and click edit video, you can see that we have warmth, tint, some lighting adjustments, color, and texture. So I definitely wanna start with a little contrast. Not too much, don't wanna make it look cheesy. Let me bring the shadows down a little bit to really enhance the blacks. So some of these takes need a little more contrast, some need a little less, some need more shadows. It's seriously crazy editing all of this inside of Canva. I've literally been using Canva for so long now. I remember when it was just like basic photo effects and editing like 10 years ago. I would literally edit old photos and stuff with it. It's just crazy to see how far Canva has come. But anyway, I think that's pretty much a wrap for this commercial. Let's go ahead and watch the final draft. Okay, so that's actually pretty insane that we can create something that good inside of Canva. From the animations to the background remover effect to sound effects and music, there's honestly a lot of potential to create some really cool stuff inside of Canva. So if you guys wanna try out Canva Pro for yourself, make sure to check out the link in the description box below. You can get 45 days using my link, so make sure you guys check that out. Let me know what your favorite shot was from this commercial. I guess that's pretty much it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.